Hello and welcome. It's election season here in Board Crazy Land, and two of us will be recreating a notorious smear campaign in Revolution of 1828. Revolution of 1828 is a game for two players, designed by Stefan Feld and published by Frosted Games and Renegade Game Studios. The game is a recreation of the notorious U.S. presidential election of 1828 between Andrew Jackson and John Quincy Adams. The player who is best able to collect votes while keeping the press off their back will emerge victorious. The game is played over four rounds, and each round is comprised of three phases. To start the round, the editor and the elector figures are placed on the center of their respective areas. Then to set up the board, the first player draws election tiles from the bag and places three of them face up on each of the six areas. Then the players campaign by back and forth taking an unclaimed election tile from the middle of the board and moving it to their side. If a player takes the final election tile from an area, they collect either the editor or its elector, and then they may take an additional turn. There are three different types of election tiles. Most are delegates, and when one of these is taken, it is placed next to the area of its matching color. There are also smear campaigns, which have a black border. Uh, these count as wild delegates and may be placed in any of the five colored areas. However, they are costly if the player has drawn the attention of the editor. And then finally, there are the campaign actions, which are kept in a separate stack, and each of these comes with its own special effect. Once all tiles have been taken from the board, the round is over and players collect their votes for the round. Votes are earned based on number of delegates, electors collected, and the size of campaign piles. However, the player who has collected the editor figure must give one vote to their opponent for each smear campaign they've collected. Between rounds, the first player is swapped and all tiles, aside from smear campaigns, are removed from the game and replaced with new ones from the bag. Smear campaigns stay in play for the entire game. Once the four rounds have been finished, the player who has collected the most votes has won the election and the game. Now, let's get started. Hi. Hello. I'm over here now. I am D. I am joined by the usuals. Just, you know, swapped, haven't we? I'm Graham. And I'm D. No. Did I mess it up? You messed it up again. I thought you said because I'm here, I'm D, then you're going to be Will today. Nope. Because you said you want to win, and the only way you could do that is if you channel me. Should we should hire someone mm -hmm. with, like, that just carries a, a drink, like, I don't care, whatever it is, like a strawberry daiquiri. Uh -huh. And whenever he is acting like an idiot, they, they just, just pour it on him. Okay. Or not splash it. Splash it in the face or pour well, it on him. Well, that shirt, I'm thinking maybe it should be like an orange Julius. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. <laughs> but then you wouldn't see it. Maybe it needs to be something like... Well, you see it on his head. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you'd see it if someone splashed an orange Julius on me. Regardless of if I'm wearing orange, it's Bring, not like it would be... to Dairy Queen, buy an orange Julius, and come back, and we'll see what it looks like. Like I said, I think we should hire someone full-time. $50 an hour. All right. Just to stand there. Okay, hey, we've got things here, Will. Before <laughs> we get, this. Are we going to start with these before we get started with the actual revolution? Uh, we'll talk more about these as we use them, and later at the end of the video. What are they called, Will? They're called the Outburst Game Tables. Outburst Game Tables. Mini tables. Yeah, they're outburst tables. Yeah. So I'm supposed to use them when I get angry? Yeah, maybe not every time because it'll start to get tiresome. But yes, yeah, so you can use them. Okay. He's already <laughs> angry. He's making me angry like that. with that. It's his secret. Okay. He's always angry. I'm always angry. It can be All used right. as a drink coaster. It actually says that. Oh. Oh. Ooh. This Ooh. is Ooh. risky. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just> <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, we're gonna get to, we're gonna use this. Let's get this. Let's see. Uh, How much weight can this take? No, Graham. Oh. Let's get this game started, shall we? We don't have all night. Yeah. We're playing the Revolution of 1828. It's a presidential election. Andrew presidential. Jackson. Presidential. Presidential election. <laughs> Andrew Jackson was John Quincy Adams. Now we're not necessarily going to assign roles here. We're not really role playing either of them. Uh, I'm definitely John Quincy Adams. I, I okay. think I'm John Quincy Adams. I think Will's the Andrew Jackson here. You guys yeah. ready to play? Yeah, I'm ready for y'all to play. Should go with crazy hair if I was the Andrew Jackson. So the yeah. first player in this game yeah. is the person who gives me $20. No, that's no, how that works. works. They recommend it's the person who last voted on something. Okay. Now Graham and I both voted in the la in the, in the midterm elections you know, you know, last it, year. It's really vague about voting. Did you guys vote on a Twitter poll recently? Well, I mean, all right. <laughs> Does it really matter? You want to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. All right, fine. Darn it, I'm first player. So, I'm first player for the first round. Right. Put down three 
I've scrambled the sack where they go. Now it's time to put three of these election tiles on each <laughs> of his pieces. <laughs> Here we go. Scramble the sack. Oh my goodness. Oh geez. What? Two smear campaigns already. There are very few delegates out there. I think there's a bunch over here. There's no there's no green. Oh no, there is green. There's no, no blue. blue. Now we have a uh, we have our little uh, cheat sheet here for what each of the uh, like uh, campaign actions actually does. We do have a campaign rally here, which means uh, no one can choose anything else from this space until this one has been chosen. Wow. Well, you love voting. I, yes, I believe in it. You do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Even Who's when there's first? no election being held. I am. I'm just maybe you should stop talking and pick. I'm taking it. I'm taking the campaign rally. Okay. Oh, I'm going up here, by the way. I'm, I'm playing on top. So. Well, what is, what is, what's your favorite election of all time? Oh, it's your blood boiling or something. I don't know. Man, your that's turn. a good one. Uh, I would probably say Chris oh, Farley's fun. older brother in the film, oh, Black Tim, Sheep. Tim Matheson? Yeah, Tim Matheson running against... Logical. It was a woman, wasn't it? It was a Bradley Whitford. Oh, was it? <laughs> it wasn't Bradley Whitford. It wasn't Bradley Whitford. It was a woman, yeah. That election might be my favorite one. Sure. I mean, that's a, it's a solid it's answer. It's a solid answer, isn't it? Were the, were the results of that election ever? I don't think his brother... I think Show? his brother wins, but I can't remember. That'd be illogical. We're talking about Black Sheep. Do you ask me what my favorite election was? I said Tim Matheson as Chris Farley's older brother in Black Sheep versus Gary Busey or whoever he faces in that movie. It's not Gary Busey. Gary Busey's in the movie. Is he? Yeah, I don't remember that. Doesn't he, doesn't he play like an old guy, like a, not an old guy, like a hermit who lives in the woods in like an RV? He's like ex-military. Oh, he might not even been acting in that role. He might yeah. have just been. They just filmed. accidentally stumbled upon <laughs> Gary Busey's hideout. Yeah. Oh, so I took a financing there last time. I can use that. Uh, I can trade that in with another campaign action to uh, take another turn after your wait. My, after any of my turns. After any yeah. After a regular turn is what I was trying to say. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll do that now. Scram hasn't gone yet. Graham, would you find that to be outrageous? <laughs> outrageous. Okay, well, what's your favorite Hershey's candy product? Mine used to be outrageous. What? You take five guy? I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. You're a big cup guy. White chocolate. Oh, he's outraged. That's two, by the way. Does take five Hershey? Yes, it is. We're really talking about relevant stuff here in this video. I'm tell you what. completely lost. So, okay, outbursts. <laughs> votes <laughs> to make sure I don't mix up the tallies. All right, D, he's beating you in outbursts. I'm just go with that. What was that? That's that was a, a special one. edition. It would allow me to uh, put a smear campaign from my side onto his. I don't have any. I'm just taking it for it. A pap smear campaign. I don't know. Graham, you're still going. Yeah, I don't know. It's taking a while. I feel like it might be. I feel like this makes him the Andrew Jackson. Yeah, probably. <laughs> there are a lot of pap. I mean, uh, smear campaigns out there. So. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one. Interesting. Okay, so you're just you. Hmm. I'm gonna take this, but, um, and then I claim this because I took the last one from this section. So I got South Atlantic. Yes. Which gets me nothing here, but I get another turn. You do get another turn. The actual value. I'm going to take this gerrymandering, everyone's favorite practice. I will immediately take one any one unclaimed election tile and place it in the center of any other. Area with at least one unclaimed election tile. What would Brian Boitano do? Keep in mind, in, according to this game's map, North Central U.S. is apparently uh, most of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee. You know, well, I'm thinking North. I usually think Mississippi, I Alabama, usually, Georgia. I, I usually Tennessee. think the Deep South. Yeah, me too. Yeah, North Central. New England is a sliver of Maine, and I think some of Canada. Well, here's the. <laughs> Oh, here's the thing, D. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to take this. And okay. I, this is the polling one, right? Take one delegate from your opponent's side of the campaign area and place it on your side of the campaign what? area. Oh, my God. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh outrage. I just like this. Also, these um, do double as pogs. So, oh, and then I get guys, one more move. I have a few slammers here for you guys. You took your extra move. Oh, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. Shoot. He didn't. He just claimed. And then did his thing. Shoot. You know, most of the corruption in an election happens at the beginning, right? Oh, yeah, I guess we're... Well, at least it did in 1828. Yeah, I guess. Was it corruption? I that's not true. I don't know if corruption was an issue in this one. Well, it, was it just... wasn't so much corruption as it was, like, slandering yeah, each other. Just, like, being stuff. a jerk. Yeah, lying. Yeah. Like, well, actually, there was corruption in 1824, so I guess you could say mm -hmm. that technically the rivalry between Jackson and, 
Adam started. <sighs> you grab one? I did. I grabbed this one. In 1824. Do you, you put it down? Yeah, I'm just. So yeah, it started in 1824. There's actually an expansive history in that rule book. And I read I read the whole thing, and it's really, really interesting. It's 1828. It's, it's almost like a Wikipedia page in there, and it's good. 1824 yeah. election. There's an election. That one was messed up. Crazy. He won 41.4% of the popular vote, and what was it? Adams had 30%. And Adams still won the election because of the way that the House of Representatives would like pick the president at that point. Shoot. Craziness. I forgot about that. Take this. Yeah. And then I'm going to spend yeah, two of these. Oh, rough. To uh, collect this. Ike. Huh. Here. D, who would you rather have as your running mate? Me or Graham? Graham. We'll see. Well, let's see how it. So let's see how it turns out. I'm gonna do this. Can you just, just for, push it back? Like, I don't think. Whatever. I'm gonna do back. it. I don't care. Mm, I'm taking this. Interesting. Okay. So I'm taking this. You um, take one of those. Take one of these, which I will put here, and then I'll discard these. Okay. So you're using the finances like to Ooh, take that. Oh, interesting. And then I will. What are you smearing? Either way, it gets me. I don't, sure. Either way, that will only get you, well, yeah, yeah. it only gets you one extra Because I already got the, yeah. Because you already got the shutout there. So, so. either way, it gets don't. me. Don't. Yeah, I have the shutout Shut here. in yellow. Yeah, but in the red, we, we're tied. We're yeah, tied, so I'm saying, more important, yeah, it gets me to put it in red. red. Yeah, that's what I'm oh, saying. Okay. All right, guys. Round one, finally over. Mm. Now we can collect our votes. So we just go through this one section at a time. So, Graham, here, you have the... Majority mm -hmm. in delegates. You also have uh, a shutout, mm -hmm. which gets you two votes instead of one. Uh, and then you have the elector. So it gives me three total which gets for that you one. Three total because you've got you got one per delegate if you have the elector. Okay. Uh, red, you've got me beat uh, two to one, so that gets you another vote, and then you get two more votes for the elector Just there. Another three. Yep. I get just one for the blue, because we're tied, which means no one gets anything, but I do have the elector, that gets me one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're green, I have one uh, with a majority, and I have that, so I get three mm -hmm. for green. And then white, you get two. But I have the elector, so you don't get anything else. And then for the uh, campaigns, I have two, Graham has zero. So That's I three points for get me. three, and Do I now, give you three? Huh? I give you now. Some. Yeah, you have the editor. You also have three smear campaigns. So three of those come to me. Ugh. Come to great D. Uh, stack up all your smears and put them here underneath the press, yeah. please. And smear, oh, yeah, we should have done do that the first, same but thing. The smear campaigns go over there. These are all discarded. These are all out of the game forever. Now Graham is the first player. Oh, these can go back in the center. So what's the score? I have ten. Graham has five. Those smear campaigns. They hurt. No green this time. All right, take a look at the board, fellers. At the end of this round, we will uh, explain the scoring a bit more detail so that it actually makes sense. People don't care how the game is scored as long as I win. <laughs> that is true. Not any smear campaigns this time. <laughs> Very political thing no, of you to say. Not a single smear campaign. No, man. Oh, boy, My oh, turn boy. first. Si, senor. Ooh, clean the white. The one white. The one white out there. All right, I have to go, though. Oh, we have a campaign rally. Campaign rally there. Well, I'm going to do what I did last time. Just taking that campaign rally. Do you guys mind if I... What are you doing? Go ahead. It's not going to be as satisfying when he flips it now. Well, here, give me your 10. I'll give you 10 points. Why? It just looks better. And also... It doesn't look better. You know what looks good? That looks good. Whoa! Oh, Ooh. snap. All right, that's an outburst for D. Yeah! All right, All right fine. Give me the 10 then. All right, I took a South Atlantic. <gasps> I'm going crazy. Taking this, claiming the editor. Wow. Agenda. So he's just taking the hit. I may choose an area with at least one unclaimed tile. My opponent must uh, choose a tile from that area the next turn. I'm, of course, choosing the South Atlantic. Okay. You must choose one of them. Dirty D. That's dirty D. Got the vapors. Why are you so warm and why do you have the vapors? It's 106 degrees down here, Celsius. Graham, I just want to point out that it's probably like a, a nice like 72 <laughs> down here. I got a lot of pressure on me to win this election, Will, all right? right. The people at back home are counting on me. Back home. Back home in America. 
miles away. Yeah, we're not in America right now. You got one of two options. Yep. Which one are you going to give? Yeah. Why did we decide to film in Montenegro? That's a great question, Will. Of all the places, I might say it's a silly choice, but yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? Why did you put red on yellow? It's a great question. Colorblind, apparently. That's not, it doesn't exist, I don't think, yellow, red, colorblind. Get another turn here. Might as well just... Oh, yeah. Get that free boat. Take this. Gerrymandering, right? And that allows me to take one unclaimed election tile. Taking that oh, gerrymandering. Moving it. Okay. You have a bunch of facts all about Andrew Jackson and John Quincy Adams ready to go, correct? Uh, I have a whole list up in here. Yep, let's get started. Uh huh. Number one. Okay, John Quincy Adams played the harpsichord, and he could do it blindfolded. I mean, that might be true. I don't. I feel like I don't, I don't think like sight is really all that important when it comes to playing a, an instrument of that kind. Uh, okay. Andrew Jackson mm -hmm. demanded to be put on the thirty-five dollar note. <laughs> And they said, that's a bizarre number, Andrew. It is bizarre. Honestly, I feel like him being on any currency is just the weirdest irony of all time. How, how did that even happen? It's, oh, yeah, he hated the banks, too. <laughs> it's your that's, turn. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking, Graham. Maybe Jeez. it was ironic. It's also, like, one of the most used notes. Biggest note you can get out of ATMs most of the time. Unless you're rich. Intrigue. Andrew Jackson mm -hmm. was one of three sons. That's... They were captured during the Revolutionary War. Him and his, him and his family were. Mm -hmm. His mother died shortly after, and his uh, one of his brothers was tortured to death by the English. Okay, which might explain why he hated the English. Is this so actually much. Any this, this is true? this is true. Always. Okay, I thought we were going towards like maybe like a Jackson. So him and his other brother were orphaned, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So as uh, he's like, he was the a man of the people, which is what he ran on. He was an orphan. He had to work his way up. Whereas John Quincy Adams was a member of the establishment. Well, I mean. Alexander Hamilton was an orphan. And he was establishment. Yeah. Did he make it to be president? No. Well, I've got but one option, really. But one. John Quincy Adams, highest IQ of any president. What? How can you calculate IQ from I don't know. written words? That's what the internet told me. Actually, I remember reading John an article Adams's about son. them taking speeches and like the spoken word mm. and calculating a president's IQ from that. And mm. you know who actually had the highest IQ of all the presidents who have been filmed? Well, I think the first one that they tested was FDR. Oh, okay. Uh, Kennedy? No, actually. What'd you do? What, is, what has he done? He, he cleared out... Uh, which one did you clear what out? What did you do? He cleared out red, right? There were, yeah. All three of these had two. How did you clear anything out? I used the campaign with this. Oh, did you put it on he my stack? He used the finance. Oh, is that your stack? I'll keep that it. That is his stack. <laughs> That's the discard. <laughs> I'll keep it. He used campaign financing. That's okay. Cool. No, the, it was Nixon. Really? Yeah. I can see it. He was a smart guy. He was smart, but he was too much. <laughs> I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna spend it. Then I'm gonna. You're doing campaign financing as campaign well. Campaign financing. Taking an extra action. Taking this. Taking this. Oh, rough. Okay. Let's score this the right way. <laughs> Why don't we start with campaign tokens, campaign piles? Yeah, let's do proper. I am. Dose. So, and Grandma's none, so it's three to D. I guess you get three votes for having more, you get zero votes for okay. Let's go away. Yellow! You get one for having more than your opponent, mm -hmm. and then you also get, if you have the elector, you get one point per delegate. Yeah. And th since that's a tie, that'd be zero for both of you, but D, we get two points, because he has the, so the two delegates, yeah. and he has the elector. If there's, again, if there's a shutout, then the person gets an extra vote, but mm -hmm. in this case, yeah. it was not a shutout. Next up, Graham, one for having more delegates. Yes. Three additional ones for having the elector and three delegates. Yes. Blue, another tie, but I have one with the elector, so I get one vote. Green? Nothing. nothing. And then white. One point for Graham. Two to Graham. Two to me. Oh, he's got a shutout. Oof. Yes. Don't let me score. Now, I have the editor. I still have two smear campaigns, which means Graham gets two, two votes of yeah. mine. So what's that bring the scores to? I'm at 14. I'm at... You're probably closer than you were last time. He's at 13. We've got some smear campaigns this time, guys. Wow. Actually. Okay. All the smear campaigns are on the board. They can be huge now. What do we got? Four greens, four blues, two whites, a single red. Yikes. No yellows. Yikes. What'd you take? The red. Oh, the red. So here's some of the stuff that he... that got... presidents got in trouble for in regards to... Read it, Will. I'm gonna no, no, I'll, let Graham, I'll make Graham, if you, do you have your oh, decision wait. ready? Yeah. Well, he, I went. 
Oh, what are you taking? Polling. Now oh, that's rude. <laughs> oh, you took you took the campaign <laughs> one that allowed you to steal. Put it there. That's where it belongs. Uh, well, dude, little, he's gonna hold over there. Yeah. All right. Well, you can you, read your read your quotes, Will. All I was gonna, no, it's not a quote. It's just read like, the quote. It's funny how like if you think about what presidents get in trouble for now, and it's like John Adams was yeah. was smeared because his, he lived with his wife before their wedding ceremony. Oh wow. How dare he? Graham, you can no longer be my running mate. Mm. D, what is wrong with you? <laughs> he was also accused of pampering himself by purchasing a pool table, gambling, and he also broke the Sabbath. Can you believe this? Honestly, if Jackson was going for the South, this all sounds like a really great strategy. No. Did you tip? All right. What is that? Moment momentum? Momentum. Momentum. Yes, yeah, so you. you now, whenever someone takes the green elector, they will not get a bonus. <laughs> I'm so smart. I mean, Jackson was also smeared for having, um, yes. for for marrying his wife when she was still married to another man, which legitimately is worse than anything that was said against Adams. Well, ever. Adams, everything that even says in here, everything said against him was a lie. Oh. Whereas Jackson, every bad thing said against him, he actually so did. Adams did not have a pool table. No, I'm disappointed now. Or he did, but who cares? <laughs> How is that a thing? He bought himself a pool table. That bourgeois jerk. What's Graham gonna do? Take the it. All right, fine. Oh, you're tipping again. You're tipping. Tip. He's got you. He's reading you like a book. Just the tip. Again, above. I feel like the verticality is important. It is important to me that it's not vertical. Should I call the election early? Like some news networks are prone to do? Yes. All right. <laughs> Graham, you've won this election. Congratulations. Nice. D, you can so vote. You can, you can give your concession speech whenever you feel like it. Mm. I'm banking on the Mid-Atlantic. See, I don't like Graham in this round. I think he's going to take the lead, and I hate him. Why is that? Why do you say that? Because he got all those election actions that I'm not going to have. Let's be frank. Um, so that's, that's three votes right there. And if I get the the editor, I'm screwed. My my dirty tactics will mm. come back to bite me. Taking this. Thank you. Funny, Graham, you're taking this. <laughs> I'm taking this. Hey, Graham, you're up, by the way. He knows. I know, I know, I know. He Does he? The science says I should be winning. Yeah. Graham, do you want some more John Quincy Adam facts? Do you? He preferred Lyft to Uber. <laughs> Just take the editor. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, great. <laughs> you didn't it. think about that one. No, I think I only have one real play here. So do it. Flip it then. You know, I have only one more. I have only one play here. Yeah. I need to think for ten yes, more minutes. I have to take this, and I'm going to place it there. I guess. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. No. So what's, what, there. Okay. So what's your next one? You, know, next you, one? you, just, you just took red. This. Oh shoot! Did I? <laughs> your math just immediately got undone <laughs> by Put your the table, stupid deep. brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's too. F you guys are tied it out, Bears, by the way. Oh, I didn't. I know you didn't. I, I, because I was like, Wait. I've done the. Because <laughs> I, no, I, <laughs> no. I'm just. Yeah, trying. it's really. Uh, it's it's weirdly the best play. It's it's uh, bad. It's bad. <laughs> but but uh, it hurts me some. <laughs> stack them, eh. Graham. You're up. You still move you this still, one. You move to press. You take another action. <laughs> <laughs> he can't figure it out. <laughs> he can't remember. It's insane. I don't want it. <sighs> God, he really has blown this election. <laughs> oh my God, how many points is he losing? Six points. <laughs> Freaking votes. Now he's getting a lot of votes, though. That's pretty much. I'm just. I think he's. I think banking he's, on the fact that he has to give me. <laughs> I think he's gonna end up with like zero votes, though, because of how many he has to give away. No, he's he's gonna have to give me six. Okay, no shutout. All right, Graham, you got more of these. <laughs> three votes. It's three votes. Yellow, I get two. No, I get three. You get three. three. You get a shutout and then one additional one. There you go. Woo! Three bang. Go win the game. You get two. Red, I get two. No, three. 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 So I have two there. Yeah. Right, oh, God, this is confusing. This is my one. Um, I get one, two, three, four. Ooh, yes. Four. I get 
Six. Six. That's ridiculous. <laughs> They're all going to me. <laughs> Let's just give those to him now. Yeah. And then uh, white. I, I get one. You get. I get one. One. You both yes. get one. one. That. Yes. Okay. Oh. And then D. You oh, have right. Hold on. One, two, three, four, he gave, he gave five, six. six. Yeah, so he, he gave you six, six votes. Wow. So what is the, what's the vote tallies up to, guys? Twenty-five. What? Twenty-seven. How? Graham has twenty-seven votes, up right. from thirteen. That's a lot. I have twenty-one. Well, there was a twelve-point swing there with the six. Yeah. Graham, remember when you said that you were John Quincy Adams? Well, you know, you're about to change history. Whoa. Because he did not win. He lost big, actually. Yeah. This election was not actually that interesting when it came to the actual vote. Any, any, any campaign rallies? No. So we're free to take anything. Okay, look how smeary he's been. <laughs> Wasn't my intention, all right? I had no choice. <laughs> so dirty. D, can you just give me a few sample smears about Graham? Graham? Yeah. Less handsome in person. Okay. Yeah. That's a strange smear. I guess back then it would have worked because there was no video. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, because, I mean, why would I not just get it out of the way, take the polling and just... Thank you. Boom! Ouch. Give it to me! It's only fair! Ooh, had a little Benjamin. So another white for D. What's I, that? Also named Terry. I think I'm gonna take this. The agenda. Choose an area with at least one unclean election tile. You can... I have to choose. I didn't oh! Know. I maybe did not consider that. Graham has <laughs> won the game! Are we undo that? <laughs> <laughs> That actually what you want me to do? Yeah, I want you to take from the press. Alright, fine. I've lost the game. <laughs> I've lost the game. I really didn't consider that. Oh, poor D. Boy, I could've I should have waited on that one. Yeah, I was kinda hoping you would take that white. <laughs> Isn't we're at that point of an election? Where the, I'm John Quincy Adams. The electoral votes are coming in, but you know already that the candidate you have been supporting is has lost, but they're they haven't conceded yet. So it's just that like sad period where you just watch the votes continue to come in, but at this point the votes no longer just matter. Me. All right. I appreciate you. Yeah. Which president from our past would you most like to bring back to life and have him win election again? Who would be for me it's easy. Okay. Harrison. William Henry Harrison? No, the one who died oh, after... Benjamin a, Harrison. The, who, no, William, William Henry, Henry Harrison. Harrison, yeah. So you want to see if he lasts longer this time? <laughs> that is just... I felt like he never got a good go. Taking, I'm taking this. Spending it. Cashing it in. Nice. Taking this. Nice. Taking this. Cool. So, you know. Take that. I would go with George Washington, because I feel like he's the one guy who has, like, the clout with everybody. That way he would just get stuff done. All right. I'm going to take... He probably would, actually. This... And you have to take from here. Wait, what did they do? I'm gonna take gerrymandering. Yep, I figured. <laughs> no, I figured. I'll take this. Claim that. Oof, rough. Wait, no. What? No, you move, move it. Move it. <laughs> you don't take you it. Move it to oh, another oh, one. Right. Let's well, still point. claim this. Okay, and then you moved it somewhere, and then you can take it with your turn. No, he goes next. Yeah, I go next. Well, no, if you took this, you get an extra turn. You use it uh, to empty two areas on the same... Have we done that? I have not done that. Claim both electors or editor as normal, but you will only, only take, take one, one extra, extra turn. turn. I don't know why I did that. How know. could you empty two with one gerrymandering? If, 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 it's, if gerrymandering is the last one left, you pick it up. I'm so confused on how this works. But you would empty the one that was on, and then you could empty another one. But you only, yeah, No, I, I think I do get an extra thing here. This Are you going to clear the board here? Uh, No, I can't. No. no. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> No, you would, because you would take no, an extra action. I'm going to put it here. Mm -hmm. On my extra action, I'm going to take this. Okay, then you're I'm not going to put the board. that there, which gets me another one. But then you're going to spend your campaign finance. I'm just saying he could finish oh, the game. Yeah, there. I might as well, right? Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. This game! <laughs> and then he would take that, and that would be I it. don't understand this, these rules. <laughs> okay, you weren't clearing two zones. Not at the same time. So you could take an extra turn. Yes. I did not I understand really don't think how that works. Graham's got two, I had one. Graham gets three votes. Three. Uh, all right. And he made a will earlier. Yellow. Didn't I get six for yellow. Jeez, Lewin. It's not going to matter. These are all Those are Graham. Grams, yeah. There you go. Uh, red. Uh, uh, we'll just leave them for now. Graham gets two for red. No, no, you get them. Just take them. No, that's, are we going to do this in the right order? Fine. I get two for red. You also get uh, two, two for, for green. Blue, blue brother. Blue. Two for blue. I get four for green. Hallelujah. 
and then another four for white. And you get these. Okay, but then six, six because you have I... six of these. Oh, mm. hold on, let me count these and I'll flip out. Oh. What it'll come down to, Graham, you were at 27, D was at 21. What are the final scores? I have 29. D has 29. Uh, 24 plus 6, 40. 40 to 29? I think, could you double check that? Okay, that's a uh, 20. Have regardless. Graham? 40. As we always do here in America, you've won the presidential election, take the crown. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, you are a king. I have no idea how I won that. <laughs> This is such a weird game in that every time I've played it, it feels like even if you do well, you do poorly, and it's if you still, do poorly, you win. This is one of those games you never feel like you're winning. There's no. only one proper reaction to this game. Ah! He's angry too. All right, so you guys oh, no. tied on outbursts. Yeah, nice. At least we tied on outbursts. Were they made from real Baltic balsa? Also, they made from Baltic look at the, birch. Look at the Baltic details birch. on this. I do like that one a lot. A lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot one. going on here. I don't know how they you can even that. see like the dice. We should play right. Catan on that. <laughs> they carve this either. All right. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, anything else? Uh, anything? Comment. Comment. You can comment if you want. Let us know yeah. what you think about this game or us. Like, Who would day. you want to see as the president of the United States? Mm -hmm. D or Graham? Let us know. Or will? No. Um, what <laughs> office in, pol in in American politics would I be best suited for? I'm curious. You're the guy who lays on top of puddles when the president has ah, to walk up. Ah, I'm that guy. I'm the puddle guy. <laughs> the most respected guy. You can guy. also check out our social media links. Our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all linked to in the description below. And you can come back uh, this coming Wednesday for our reviews, review reviews, of this game. Get our thoughts yeah. on Revolution of 1828. I think that's it, though, guys. Shall we say goodbye? Oh, I, I want to talk yeah, about and these. Will, you want to talk about those real quick? These little, uh, little outburst tables, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you, uh, we're gonna keep using them, so you will see them in, <laughs> the Graham's take, showing them off. Carnage. We will keep using these over the next handful of videos. Um, they're going to Kickstarter, uh, as of now, the date is set at June 27th. So. That's this month. Yeah, soon, end of the month. So if these little, you know, novelty tables yeah, this sort seem of thing to be down here now, it actually is kind of cathartic. I, there is. I, mean, I went a little bit overboard, I think. Well, yeah. We both flipped it, what, three it times? It is a but better alternative to flipping the actual table. It certainly is. <sighs> yeah. I think that's it, then. Should that is it. Uh, I, I still... I want to point out that John Quincy Adams is now... I was John Quincy Adams. I lost. No, you said you were Andrew Jackson. I, didn't, I wouldn't have said that. That doesn't sound like me. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time. Toodaloo. Never forget the Battle of New Orleans! <laughs> Grim's gonna kill me.